We got a big new update for Valhalla coming tomorrow, June 15th, which includes, of course, the mastery challenges, but also a river raid refresh. Yes, out of nowhere, new skills and many fixes. So we'll, of course, do a dedicated video when the update is out, going over everything and showcasing it in action. So totally check the channel for that if you're watching on June 15th. In this video, I want to get you up to speed already on what we can expect and again, go over some surprises we did not know were coming. If you like that, then a like on the video would really help me out and let's go. Yes, I am of course doing a giveaway for Helix credits, which you can enter via the link in the pinned comments and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter and good luck. Okay, real quick, Red is selling the tree from the Knight of the Round Table pack for 35 Opal in the daily selection. And I totally think that's one of the coolest trees in the game because there's a freaking statue through the tree. So I bought it with my Opal and tomorrow we will of course have a new weekly selection with likely some cool new stuff. I also expect a new Helix pack tomorrow by the way and of course a ton of free content. So we already know about the mastery challenges. I did a big video going over the trailer they released. They now note that the shrines are hidden in the world, each home to three trials. So curious if they will be like easy to find or if we really have to go look for them. Unlock unique rewards that will both show your mastery and give you more options in combat. Are they only talking about the items that are for sale in Hildren's shop or is there maybe more going on? And again, as we already knew, you need to be power level 221 to do this activity and also complete one story arc in England. But yeah, I would be surprised if you are 221 and still haven't completed a story arc in England. But yeah, it is possible. So I cannot wait to play this activity. We'll be streaming it too during the weekly reset stream. You find a countdown timer already in the pinned comment. So I hope to see you there. So I thought we might get a new festival too, but that seems to be delayed past the real life Lifa date. But there is more content than the mastery challenges. Namely, a river raid refresh. What they note is that they upped the stakes. Rivers at higher levels will have increased rewards. Okay, okay, and I hope this means they are more challenging than two. They balanced the Yums Vikings' attack power to better match their rank. Likely meaning that they are not as powerful as we saw during that so-called champion boss fight. But the most exciting part is that they added the Wayland's armor to buy in Fawn's shop using foreign cargo. I think they mean foreign supplies. So basically the currency you get from the river raids, meaning that if you got some left over, you might be able to get an armor piece when the update comes out already. And you could even say, hey, go farm right now so that when the update hits, you already got enough foreign supplies. Keep in mind though that they are increasing the rewards for higher alert levels which likely means that you get more rewards for less time after the update but yeah this is a really cool surprise and gives us a good reason to jump back into the river raids again and these are not even the new locations that we already know are coming later on there will also be new skills mounted archer sounds awesome so you can use bow abilities while mounted Right now you can of course shoot, but that's kind of it, so that's pretty nice. And we actually have videos of these skills thanks to Andy Reloads who shared them a while back. Like these skills were found in the game files in March already and are now added to the game. We also got Shield Master which lets you automatically rotate to block incoming attacks by holding up your shield. So pretty nice if you like to use a shield. And Unstoppable lets you knock enemies back when sprinting at the cost of stamina. So, will be fun to get those for sure, which will also of course mean that the power level is increasing. They are increasing the rune list cap from 100 to 300, so we can see more runes when equipping them. Right now, if you have more than 100 runes, you just will not be able to equip them. Hope there's also a sorting feature coming for the runes and just like good ways to get them. The issue where the slide of the sickle and the rumbling and then the dirt like would fly up should be fixed after installing this update. And they are once again saying that they fixed the old seller mystery bug, which is also needed to get the Excalibur. So if you had that issue, it should be fixed now. And also the bonus content unlock message would of course show up all the time. 
should be fixed now too. I will leave a link to the patch notes in the video description so you can read them for yourself if you want. Again, I will be live with the Master Challenges, the weekly reset tomorrow and also have a big update video up going over everything you need to know. So subscribe to miss nothing regarding that. A like on the video would of course really help me out and totally check out my previous video going in depth on all the big content we can expect for Valhalla for if you missed it. You can watch that by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you next time tomorrow. A new photo mode showcase and goodbye.